In this video, we will review the various Power Automate license entitlements, the different types of Power Automate licenses, and how to choose the right license. Let's first go over the different Power Automate license entitlements. Connectors represent the app or service that you want to connect to, like SharePoint, Teams, or OneDrive. Connectors are categorized by standard or premium. Standard connectors are included in Office 365 subscriptions. An additional license is required for premium connectors. Custom connectors allow you to communicate with apps or services that do not already have a pre-built connector. The on-premise gateway allows Power Automate to reach back to an on-premise resource like Microsoft SQL servers in your organization to support hybrid integration. Another license entitlement is business process flows, which guide your users through a multi-stage business process flow. They provide a streamlined user experience to help ensure that data is captured consistently and at the same steps are followed each time. Some licenses grant access to Dataverse, a low-code, no-code data platform designed for the Power Platform. Other licenses grant access to AI Builder to train and configure AI for your flows and robotic process automation to automate your repetitive desktop processes. Finally, all licenses grant a number of API requests per day for each user. API requests are made when using connectors, HTTP actions, and using built-in actions like variables. Now let's take a look at the different types of Power Automate licenses and what Power Automate entitlements other Office 365 licenses will grant you. Power Automate per flow enables organizations to implement flows with reserved capacity that serve teams, departments, or the entire organization without having to license each end user. Instead of licensing the flow, the Power Automate per user license equips a user to run an unlimited number of flows. For users that need AI builder and robotic process automation, there is the Power Automate per user with attended RPA plan. For those that need additional API requests each day, use the Power Automate capacity add-on. Now, Power Automate rights are seeded with other Microsoft licenses that you may already own. For example, all Office 365 licenses allow flows that use standard connectors. These same rights are also granted to non-business Microsoft accounts, such as those ending with Outlook.com. Dynamics includes the following Power Automate license entitlements, but only in the context of a Dynamics application. This is also true for Power App license plans. Both Dynamics and Power App licenses grant rights to build flows, but those flows must relate back to the app covered by the Dynamics or Power Apps license. For example, a user is accessing an app that has a Dynamics or Power App license. The application is using a SQL database. If the user creates a flow using that SQL database, the flow will require a premium connector. The Dynamics or Power App license grants the user the rights to use the premium flow connector since the SQL database is being used by the app. Now, if the same user wants a flow to an Oracle database that is unrelated to Dynamics or the Power App, then they are not licensed. They'll need a Power Automate per user or per flow plan. So how do you choose between the Power Automate per user and per flow licenses? You need to look at how the flow is triggered. Scheduled licenses run in the context of the flow's owner, so only the owner of the flow needs to be licensed. Automated flows also work the same way. Only the owner of the flow is required to have a license. A common example of an automated flow are flows triggered by a SharePoint list. Only the flow owner needs the license. 
For flows that are called from another flow, the child flow will draw its licensing from the parent. So in this example, the child flow is using a premium connector. Since the parent's flow owner has a power automate per user license, the child flow is licensed. Instant flows require a power automate per user license for each user that triggers the flow. In such cases, instead of licensing each user, it's sometimes easier and more cost effective to license the flow with a power automate per flow license. Now that we've reviewed the various power automate license entitlements, the different types of licenses, and how to choose the right license, you can start leveraging Power Automate to eliminate manual processes, boost efficiency, and focus attention where it's needed most.